Hey YouTube, uh, I'm quite looking forward to this. Actually, I actually use it as an excuse to play my FGN as well. Um, got a couple of guitars in for a setup. Yes, I tried this out. Well, I suppose I, he sent me, he gave me his amp as well for a shot, just because I've got his guitar, so he's got nothing to play anyway. Um, so Donner, um, I did find it quite amusing again that this says Donner Technology Incorporated on the side, because uh, obviously, being who I am, I just think Donner Kebab. I did add a, a Les Poly type thing. And in the pickup switch, I changed it from saying rhythm and treble to saying sauce and salad because I just see Donner and think kebab. So Donner technology would be like, well, what kind of kebab is that going to be? But aside from the silly name, um, the actual guitar I had was pretty good. So this actually came with that guitar. So this is 5 watt mini guitar amplifier with two 40 millimeter speakers built in two channels, transparent clean tone and a clattish, cla clattish? Hopefully not. A classic British description distortion three-way eq for for adjusting the guitar tone that suits for most kinds of music genre mm -hmm. built-in battery runs up to four hours can take it everywhere to set of portable speakers auxiliary in headphone output yeah so i let me go there now i looked these up um just out of interest 46 quid which i thought was quite expensive because I thought that's how much I, I, I like. I love the wee Black Star Fly. I thought that's how much they cost, but no, they cost seventy quid or more than that. I think, or maybe maybe eighty quid. So it's not really a fair comparison. What this one does have, though, is it's got a rechargeable battery in it, which lasts four hours, which is maybe not as probably not as long as a set of batteries last in this. But it, you need to put batteries in it. So the rechargeable thing is probably a really good thing. Also, it's, it looks like just like a mini. Oh, it's DC 5 volts. I, I, I hope it's got enough power in it. I don't think it's, there's a charger in the box. I don't know, so it's like... It's, you can see it's a wee bit... It's a good bit smaller... Generally all, all the way around. Um, it's shorter, wider, thinner... Shorter, thinner and... Less wide. Uh, less deep. Um, so I'm really going to try to see what it sounds like because I've... I have said this before, it's like a wee amp like that. See if you're playing at the sort of volume for the I was always going to say this, the volume for when you're playing along with and you've got the telly on. I mean, at the volume, see the, the volume you comfortably listen to your telly at. You should be able to play guitar at that volume. Because if that's what you're comfortable listening to in the telly, that should be what you should be able to play at. And if I'm honest, most of the, the amps I've got don't really do that. Um, even when I mean, this this black star, the, the bigger black star here is only five watts valve, but I mean it doesn't, it it, it does it it works it's on, but it doesn't really, it doesn't start sounding good until you start getting to you know rock and roll levels, which is fine for you know if you're watching Tommy or something or Star Wars you maybe have the volume up if you're just watching telly you want it something a bit quieter, so I'm gonna give this a wee go and see what it's like I've not even plugged it in yet I'm assuming that it's got power in it this might be a very short video if it doesn't have power, I assume there's is there a light here we go on. Well, the, the light comes on, so that implies it probably does work. I'll put a, a zero it. I'll put everything at twelve o'clock. She even got a, a distortion channel to see what it is we're actually dealing with here. Um, I have a which I, I was going to look out. I, I didn't. Um, give it a, a nice solid base there, so it doesn't fall over. That's not going to pull it over. It might actually. Um, maybe not the best thing for a thing to leave. So. Everything at half on the Telecaster middle pickup. Me, I think it's because uh, to be honest, the sun's been shining on this guitar, so I think it's maybe just um, it's expanded the strings a little bit. But uh, so that, it's a comfort comfortable volume wise. Um, just in my head that this isn't out of tune. Yeah. So I mean, it's the same uh, crystal clean clear. This this is the, the clean channel. So I'm gonna be master on it. Oh. Again works.
Strings to the wrong thing, it doesn't sound like chill at all, does it? To be honest, it's actually sounded really good, considering it's really small, but let's be honest, it doesn't sound big. And this is recorded on that mic there, so what you're hearing is that. None of this micing it up and putting it through Pro Tools. This is basically just what it sounds like. What have we got now about guitars and simple sounds of in tune today? So we get distortion. Second. Look. I suppose that's where I get to try it with a humbucker as well. Um. Yeah, guitar. Even though the tune I must I must be it's such a tune now. That's it, in a humbucker. super clean but I mean they've not the black shows any better than that anyway you do need a bit of volume a bit of um, you know size of speaker I think to get a truly great clean sound so I would say that was pretty driven but I mean yeah. Yeah. Sounds pretty damn good. I'll be straight up and up. So. I'll try and max it out anyway. Even so, that's up at full bung with the distortion on it. I said.
Dan Kubang. sing along to I would think um that's not even a full bung no I mean this is totally winner winner um I'm really impressed um it doesn't ha it'd be nice if it had a clip on it so I could do what I do in my I've got a wee a wee orange amp it's not made it's a cut orange the colour it's like a Dean Markler or something like that it's the same as the you know the wee the Marshall desktop one you can still buy there now 25 quid I, th I thought they were about a tenner they're 25 quid it's the same technology as that, but it's maybe 20 years old, whereas I think this is a, a relatively new thing. I mean, I was blown away by the wee, the wee fly. Just, it's the technology thing. It's like, they've failed pretty much to do any, put any technology in guitars, really. I mean, you know, arguably about it. You're still sitting there thinking, as I said before, this kind of comes across as like a modern guitar that's 1986. You know what I mean? So, I mean, what's different between this and a 50s one? It's like, oh, they put a humbucker in it. They had humbuckers, but they just didn't put it in a strat. You know, it's like, mm. T technology's done nothing, whereas things like we amplifier chips and better speakers and all that stuff you can actually use that stuff. Um, but I mean, this is, this is, I, I'm, I'm really impressed. What well, apparently the guy was saying, was, as I said, it was 46 quid or something on Amazon. But this, I mean, if you're talking about having a an amp for playing in the house, it's like, even I would say you could you could play along with someone with an acoustic, no bother. Um, and he he said he he went was it did he did he have a caravan or a motorhome or something like that? And he took it out. It was like I had we amp and they were playing the guitar like outside and it's like it's flipping loud outside, which I can totally imagine. I've had that issue before. It's like you know I'm sitting in here trying out the wee orange amp or that, thinking oh how loud you go and stuff like that. Is that going to be loud enough for going camping? But when you go camping because there's not any other noise. It's really loud. Um, you end up running these things at quarter volume and stuff, and it's like three watt. Well, that's does it say it was five watt? Does it say it was five watt actually? Five watt. I'm pretty sure that the black star's only three. Does it not say three watt on it somewhere? No, did I imagine that? Three watt mini amp. Yeah. So it's actually nearly twice the power of the black star, but it's got a slightly smaller speaker and it's cheaper. And like I said, I, I thought the black. I, I get the price wrong on the black stars. I, I, I'm pretty sure I actually saw one at eighty quid, but. For total advantage, it's rechargeable, so you don't need to put batteries in it. And it's like, even the one of the things I, my my main gripe about this was the it takes us its own type of power supply. You know, you can't just use like a, a boss one or something like that. And I'm pretty sure it was like fifteen quid or twenty quid for the power supply, so you could plug it in. It turns out the batteries in it last ages, but even then, it's like still the the hassle of having to buy, you know, batteries. I mean, I'm and to be to be totally fair. I mean, I've been running this thing. I probably changed the batteries in this once or something, and I'm using the the little ones that cost about two pound for a big roll of them. You know, I'm not using Duracells or anything like that. The problem is when you put Duracells in, which is what exactly what happened with that wee orange one. I put a Duracell battery in it, and then I went to play it the other day, and somehow in in the gig bag it managed to turn itself on. So it's probably been on for about a month. So it was flat. So I'm now no longer keeping batteries in that wee amp. I'll just keep a battery next to that wee amp um, in case it accidentally turns on. But I mean, I'll switch. I will need to do a wee bit of a, 
a test out between this and that. Um, but to be honest, we're looking at it being just slightly over half the price, and it's it's got advantages. <laughs> so yeah, even I would have said that's. I, I would be turning that down if I was playing. You know, like, that's, that's loud. <laughs> To be honest, I think um, I'm mighty impressed. Again, just if it was, if it had that clip that you could clip it onto your belt, that would just be even better. But I mean, there's nothing to say. Pro, I've seen these before. So it's even got wee rubber feet on the bottom of it. Um, no, it's a, this, that, this, is a, this is a fantastic new thing. I was going to say it looks a little bit plasticky, but I mean, it's plastic and it doesn't look any less plasticky than that. Um, this being, the, I don't know, you say it the pro level, but again, is that technology? I mean, these must be coming up for, I would have a few years, that's maybe a five year old. I think these things are brand new. Um, just shows you what can be done. I would have said that the, the EQ works to a certain extent. Maybe, I think maybe, see if you've got it really quiet, maybe it does a bit more and you can maybe get it a bit clean if you're sitting at night and it's quiet. I mean, I've got a computer blaring here and I spoke outside and it's quite noisy and I'm loud anyway, just talking. Um, but a total winner. Um, the, actually, the guy bought it. He, 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 he's written out what he got. He, he was going to buy a. It's actually that that donor, which I'm, I'm going to do this afternoon. Uh, going to do it. I'm going to uh, set it up. Need to set up actions a bit high. Um, he was back looking at. He was going to buy. I think it was a. He was going to buy the the, the strat on was it Amazon or something like that. And apparently, he got an email from Donor Direct, and it was like a hundred quid for the guitar. The amp, forty six pound amp. Uh, like a gig bag, a strap, lead, you know, beginner's pack type stuff. And he'd written out his lap here. Yeah, so if you look at the amp being 46 quid and the strap being a tenner, and, and it's not a 10 pound strap. It's like, oh, the lead being a tenner, it's not a 10 pound lead. But you know what I mean? Even then, by the time he'd done that, he'd, I think he'd even put in like two picks for 50p. And you're like, fair enough. Ended up, he worked out he paid three pound for the guitar. So it's like, really? Um, but I mean, if you look at it that way, if you're, to be honest, if I was going to be paying nearly 50 quid for this or it was 100 quid for it with the guitar um assuming the guitar's not it looks really good um, and the donor have the chorus really good they'll just be one of these in the same factors as everyone else um i was a little bit surprised with the price i thought it'd be a lot cheaper than that but i looked up and see we battery powered amps they're not cheap even the ones that look really terrible and you, you pretty much know they're really terrible are still 20 or 25 quid and those be marshall ones i mean it's all right. Miles better than them, though. Miles better than the way I Marshall. Um, I will have to do a comparison with this, even though it's not it's a not like for like, because one of them that's nearly twice the price. But I'll look up the proper prices. Um, but it just it's, even, it's, it's such a sensible thing to have. You know, looking at me, I've got a hundred and fifty watt bass amp sitting in here and a thirty watt valve amp thing. I mean, it's like okay. I'm, my my excuse is uh, I'm doing videos, so I've got to demo them through expensive stuff. But I mean. I mean, if, what kids have these days, I think, I mean, what, what that's competing with is, like, folk with their computers. You know, like, um, your DAWs and stuff. And I was like, I'll just play through my phone where you get all the effects and stuff like that. But back when I started playing the guitar, your only option was to get a 10 watt, we 10 watt wasp in a jam jar amp. And um, the first one, I didn't even have distortion. I wanted one with distortion, but I mean, that sounds way more grown up than they ever do. I mean, you can... They're passable because you can find find one sound, but that's kind of got a bit of it's got a bit of scope to it. You kind of, if you, as long as you don't you don't want glassy cleans, you know, it's not really going to blow out your you know your Hank Marvin stuff. But I mean, that doesn't do it. I mean, even to be, even to be fair, and that like that doesn't go particularly loud, clean. You know, it's like if you want if you want loud and clean, you need power. We need more power and there's like five water ten water or something that didn't really give you a very big headroom for clean you know you can sort of hit the strings soft or turn the guitar down a wee bit and not have it up that loud you can get some sort of clean 
Who wants clean anyway? If you want clean, you don't play an electric guitar. If you want clean, don't plug it in. There you go, see? Clean. You know, so I'm, I'm super impressed and, um, to be honest, recommended. I, I, I get it with the price. I just think it really it, it becomes a bit of a no-brainer if it was a case of you were going to buy one of these. It's like, assuming that guitar's going to be all right, I've got no reason to think it's not. It, it looks it looks really good. Well, that counts for anything, whether it looks really good or not. Um, you know, if you're talking about getting that and that for 100 quid, or, you know, well, really, really, can you lose out? Uh, Rocking, so that, that I was actually quite looking forward to playing that, um, and it, 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 it totally did. It, it's it's he was right. Like, whoever it was, the guys were it. That's been. I, I suppose there's the, the there's the manly thing or the whatever you what you call it the. The, the perception is like you know I bought that bloody guitar I better buy it myself you know so I just want I just want thirty what orange combo you know you're like yeah well, I mean if you're in a band totally it's like I mean you're. I don't think you need to be a rocket surgeon to go up your arm. I've turned up to play along. I thought, do you think this will be loud enough to play along with your drum kit? Yes. No, no, but that's that's like taking my feet at Panda and go like, I think it'll do 170 mile an hour. And it's like, no, it's not for that. It just doesn't, it doesn't, um, for playing along or just, especially at night, if you're a student or something, if you're, you're a, a bedroom guitarist, that's what you should have. I actually remember them seeing a, a guy, um, this is like, probably about a year ago, it was a, Someone selling a Marshall 100 watt, like uh, one of the MG series. You know, it's like, a, I think it was, maybe it was only a 1 by 12 or maybe a 2 by 12 You know, it's like a 100 watt Marshall and it showed you this app here. Yeah, it's just too loud for the bedroom and it's like, it showed you it's like just beside his bed instead of a bed, bedside cabinet like that. And it's like, yeah, it's a bit, it's a little bit loud. You know, like, really, 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 that's a bit loud for the bedroom, is it? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say I think the problem is you just look at it and you go, oh, the more what's better. And because of the way things are, even musically now as well, you know, it's like your big 2 by 12 cabinets, guitar amps, that you used to need that for gigging. And then now because everyone goes through PAs and stuff, you don't really, you don't even really need to take an amp. You can get a pedal that's got an amp in it, you know, or, or you run, you know, something like, even, even something like that's well big enough to play venues totally, even without an extension cabinet. 30 watts, freaking loud as hell. That play, that would absolutely play along with a drum kit, no bother. Um, for a gig, but as it used to be, because everyone goes to the PA now anyway, if it's not quite loud enough, you know, like DI or something for the sound guy, got something to play with. Um, yeah. So I managed to talk quite a long time about that, but basically, ultimately, thumbs up. I will do a wee, uh, a wee AB thing, maybe not this afternoon, at some point. Uh, and I've only got one set of strings to do two guitars, so I need to go and buy strings uh, this afternoon. Unless I can find a set of strings, it's like, which I might do. I know, I know for a fact that when I buy new strings, I'll buy a, another box of strings. I'll go take the packet out, then I'll go. Oh well, I'll put them. I'll put them somewhere. I won't lose them, and I'll put them down, and I'll put them down to the place where there is when I, I normally put packs of strings. I just can't remember. But I, I, when I've got the packet, I'll go. Oh, there you go, and I'll put it somewhere next to. I've already got a box. I know it's going to happen. So, rock on! It's going to be hot today. This is actually an AM video. It's actually the morning, so the sun's actually shining this way. That's how it's, uh, I'm actually managing to keep the, the window open. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to play along with that later on. So I'm really, 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 really impressed. Um, is it better than the Black Star? Well, I need to wait for the video when I try and do the two of them together. And it's like, again, it's not really comparing like with like. I mean, I, I, I had the same problem when I was comparing, trying to decide whether I kept the Black Star or the Orange. And it's like, they're both good. But they're not doing the same thing. That's like a five watt, so that's actually probably functions better in here than that does. But then when you take it to the studio, that'll probably go clean quite loud. That won't. It's only five watt. That's thirty watt. You know. Well, there you go. That's five watt valve versus five watt battery power. See, see how that goes. Um, I would put. <laughs> that's a, there'll be no betting that that goes as loud as that. Not gonna happen. Um, but for what it's for, amazing. What I really need now is a bass amp. Is it, is it, can you get a bass amp like that? The problem is, is that getting the clean. It's like it, 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 won't, it won't do it. Right, I'm, I'm just talking another five minutes of crap. Rock on. See you all. Uh, it? Like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on Sunday night for the live stream. Which I might actually I'm tempted to use that amp for. It. Why not? I mean, it's, 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 it's like really what I'm a 
what is it that the other amps do that that one doesn't do for anything I do in the house apart from when I'm gigging or playing going into the studio but to be honest the studio there's a Marshall there anyway I just take in my amp because I'm not using a Marshall like everyone else does I know, I know what my amp does I know what the knobs do there's a Marshall it's like a, a, a triple super lead so there's like three channels it's just confusing there's lots of lights and buttons and stuff where I like just going in and just going oh how do I set the amp up it's the same as it was last time I was in the studio. Plonk on, plug it in. All the knobs are in the same place. Total known entity. No fanning about. Um, probably not the best way of doing it. Oh, God. <laughs> 